Today's post is about how to do wheel pose. Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome to Living Your Yoga. Thanks so much for joining us. Today I'm talking about how to do wheel pose. Recently when I asked my Facebook community what are the yoga poses you avoid the most, wheel pose came up a lot. And actually wheel pose is one of those poses that you won't see in my videos. And the reason for that is I believe that it's a not, not a safe pose for me to teach in videos. I think you need to do this pose in a yoga studio setting with a qualified teacher who can take you through the assist. And I actually think it's a two teacher assist pose. I actually never used to teach it in my yoga classes either. I only used to teach it in retreat settings where I could teach two hour long classes with an assistant so that I had two teachers assisting it. And I think it needs to be a pose that you work with a teacher over time, not just over a two hour time block, but that a teacher that can see you progress, see that you have certain things ready to be able to do the pose. And we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about what you can do to prepare to be ready for wheel pose. So let's get to that. Wheel pose requires four things. It requires, first of all, strength in your legs. Number two, flexibility in your hips, the front of your hips. Flexibility in your thoracic spine, that's the part of your spine that's connected to your rib cage. So it's a back bend, but it's this part of your spine that needs to be able to move. Flexibility in your shoulder girdle. So your shoulder, you need to be able to have a lot of flexibility in your shoulder girdle. And also flexibility in your wrist. There's a huge extension that happens in your wrists in, in wheel pose. So let's talk about how to prepare for wheel pose. First of all, let's strengthen your legs and say to Bhandasan. You'll see a lot of poses that I do teach in Namaste Yoga show up in preparing for wheel pose. So I would practice it with the block between your knees because one thing that happens when people do wheel pose is whoop, their knees go out and you lose that core strength that you need. So use the block between your knees. These are going to prepare you really well for wheel pose. Use the block between your knees and also practice one legged Setu Bandhasan bridge pose with a block between your knees and squeeze that block between your knees. This will start to prepare you for wheel pose so that you have that strength and that opening. You can even do the tucking the shoulders under but really squeeze that block so that you don't, so that you stay away from that habit of those legs splaying out in wheel pose. So the second thing I said that you needed is flexibility in your shoulder girdle. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show in bridge pose was you can even practice your preparation for wheel pose here with your arms up and overhead. And that starts to prepare for your shoulder girdle here too. Okay, the second thing that you need to have happen in wheel pose is flexibility in your shoulder girdle. So puppy pose is a great one to prepare for the flexibility you're going to need in your shoulder girdle. Tightness in your armpits will often limit the full range of motion in this back bend. So if you practice puppy pose on your elbows, it will help you to open up your shoulder girdle here uh, and your armpits so that you have that full extension in your arms that needs to happen in wheel pose. So you're going to come onto all fours, come down onto your elbows and lean back. This is a great one to help open up that space that needs to open up for wheel pose. So that's the second pose I would recommend to practice to open up that that those your armpits and your shoulder girdle that you're going to need to have that opening for wheel pose. The other thing you need to have happen is flexibility in your thoracic spine. So practicing cobra and sphinx pose will help to prepare. So hands under your shoulder girdle and practicing your back bends like this so that your spine is prepared to be able to do your wheel pose. So practicing other back bends so that your spine is used to bending backwards is a great idea. Then the other thing you need to have is your wrists in full extension. And people have all sorts of uh, aversion to coming onto their wrists. 
so I would recommend coming up into cat pose and leaning back because that is the action that those wrists have in wheel pose and keep start here with your hands close to your knees and lean back and then keep walking forward and leaning back so that you get used to that full extension that's going to happen in your wrists when you're in wheel pose and those are all the things that have to happen in wheel pose and then the only other thing that I would recommend is that if you would like more support in being able to come into wheel pose is some of the specialized classes in our membership community. One is the intelligent core class. This one really helps to release your psoas muscle. Your psoas runs along the front of your spine all the way along the front of your hips here. And for me, when I release my psoas, it really allowed me to go way deeper in my back bends and it, I was able to do, before I had my shoulder injury, I was able to just pop up in a wheel just so easily. And um, so the Intelligent Core class is amazing. We use slow-mo ball, we use the soft foam roller, and just amazingly release your psoas. Also, the other one I would recommend is the upper back rehydration sequence from our membership community, that was the other thing. The first time I did that upper back rehydration, same thing, I was able to just push right up in a wheel because I just found this mobility in my upper thoracic spine that I hadn't experienced uh, since I was a child. And I had somebody else actually just write that in the membership community in the comments the other day, a new member that had tried that class for the first time. So those are amazing. They're just amazing ways to find flexibility again in your, in your psoas and in your thoracic spine using the soft foam roller and the slow-mo ball. So if you'd like to become a member, you can click here below. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or tips for how you access wheel pose, then leave it in the comments below. Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com, and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.